Welcome to iLectronline. In this next play playlist of videos, we're going to explore a new type of first order differential equation solution, and it's called exact differentials. So whenever we're dealing with exact differentials, there's a very specific way in which we can find the solution to that first order differential equation. So before we get started, we need to understand a little bit more about what an exact differential is. So let's start with a function that involves both the variable x and y. And let's say that x times y squared equals c. So we take some arbitrary function. And so we're going to then represent that function by u. u is a function of x and y. And so therefore it's equal to x, y squared. But since x, y squared is equal to a constant, that also tells us that u must also be a constant. So we can set this equal to c. Now, what happens when we take the differential of u called du, well, we can do it as follows. We could say that it's the partial differential of u with respect to x times dx plus the partial differential of u with respect to y times dy. And of course, if that's the case, if u is equal to a constant, then du must be equal to zero, so we can set this equal to zero. Now we can take a look at this portion right here and this portion right there, and let's say that those themselves are some functions of x and y. So we can say that let a be equal or a, which is a function of x and y, be equal to the partial of u with respect to x. And let's say that uh, b, which is also a function of x and y, uh, is equal to the partial of u with respect to y. So this can then be written as du is equal to some function, let's call it a, of x and y times dx plus some function, let's call it b, of x and y times dy. Now, what if we take the partial of a with respect to y and the partial of b with respect to x? If this is, the, if this is an exact differential, then those should be equal to one another. So let's try that. So let's go ahead and take the partial of, well, let's start with the initial function. So we're first going to write this as the partial of u, so a then is going to be equal to the partial of u with respect to x. In other words, oop, I said x and I wrote y, that happens sometimes. And so we're now going to take the partial with respect to x of this quantity, x, y squared. So when we do that, that means that of course y is a constant, and so this is simply the partial of x, so it would be 1 times y squared. And here we take b, which is equal to the partial of u with respect to y, which is equal to the partial with respect to y of the quantity x, y squared. So therefore, x becomes a constant. This is just simply the coefficient of y squared, so it would be 2xy. Which means that this du then becomes the following. du is now equal to, instead of a, we can write y squared times dx plus b, which would be 2xy times dy. Now, if we take the partial of y squared with respect to y in this case, and we take the, 2, the partial of 2xy with respect to x, and they're equal to each other, then we know that this is an exact differential, and then we can use the method of exact differentials to solve the equation, to solve for the differential equation, or to find the solution of the differential equation. All right, let's do that now. So let's take the partial of y squared with respect to y this time, and here we're going to take the partial uh, with respect to x of 2xy. And again, if those are equal to each other, then this is an exact differential. So we take the derivative here, so this would be 2y, and if we take the derivative of this with respect to x, that means y is a constant, so this would be 2 times y. And of course, we can see here that 2y is equal to 2y, Therefore, we can say that this is an exact differential and we can use the proper method. All right, what that really means is that we can say that if the partial of A with respect to Y is equal to the partial of B with respect to X, then we have an exact differential and we can solve the, the equation that way. And of course, notice that since A is the partial of U with respect to X, what that really means is that the second partial of u with respect to x and with respect to y has to be equal to the partial, the second partial of u with respect to y 
in respect to x. And of course, that has to be the case. If that's the case, if we did get that exact solution, then we can go ahead and employ that method. So there's your introduction. Now let's take a look, a little closer look at the uh, methodology of how to actually solve the equation. And then we'll do some examples so we can see what this is actually all about. So there's our first start. Stay tuned for the next video.